Mrs. Partridge? We're closed. Uh, there's been a tiny hiccup. We're locked here. Please, let me in. Go oh, away. Tiny... Uh, listen, they didn't eat the baby. It was a chicken, actually. There's no more nannies. You have to lock. The person you need is Nanny McCree. Is that you, Mrs. Partridge? The person you need is Nanny McPhee. Excellent. I needed to start right away. I'm already late for a vital tea dance. Nanny McPhee is not on our books. Nanny McPhee is not on anyone's books. Nanny Whetstone's gone. Oh, there's a surprise. Hurry it up there, spuds. Mr. Brown's gone to the agency. I said the children will be fine with us. Won't be fine with me. I won't have them dirty blighters in my kitchen, and that is that. I have it in writing. In writing. Well, that's the final straw. There are no more nannies. None. All over. Finished. And I've had to cancel my vital appointment, and that's going to cause no end of trouble, I can tell you. I told them not to. It wasn't my idea. Don't look at me. It's not my fault. Well, you seem intent on distressing me. So, uh, uh, don't do that, darling, please. That's, that's my sore bit. You seem intent on distressing me, so now I'm going to distress you. You are to... to go to bed immediately. Before supper. Without supper. Did he say you about supper? Never mind that. There's no more nannies. Poor him. And poor them. Poor them, my Aunt Fanny. They're the worstest, nastiest, horriblest. It'll be snow in August before this family's straightened out. Dear Nanny Wetstone.